Welcome. We're going to show you how easy it is today to apply a logo to the Decadence Marine Flooring product. The first thing you want to do is select an image, whatever image that is. You can send it into a sign shop and have them cut it. Just make sure that they cut it as a stencil. and Let them know that you're going to be spraying on it, a paint, in this case it's a vinyl coating, onto the logo, onto a substrate. The substrate, of course, is Decadence Marine Flooring. In this particular uh, logo, I selected a wolf, kind of a cool wolf with a howling at the moon type of uh, look to it. And uh, they cut it as a stencil. They know I'm going to be spraying on it. And basically what you want to do on your boat deck, I just have a small sample here for illustration purposes, but on your boat deck, find exactly where you want your logo to go. Once you've found the area where you want it to go, what you want to do is you just want to take a painter's tape, something like this, just kind of mark off the corners so you know that when you put your uh, final down, your logo, that it's ending up in the right place that you uh, that you want it to be. It doesn't have to be precise, it doesn't have to be exact. We're taking our time, we're in no hurry, and we're getting it done. All right, so, there you go, like that. Okay, now that you have your location, basically what you wanna do is peel the uh, logo off. This will be the sticky side is down on the uh, Oracle uh, 3M, which is what we recommend. I'm going to peel that off, just come straight back, make sure that you get it all. And periodically, if you have something crawl up onto the vinyl itself as you're peeling it, you can always go back and just kind of push it down. We're having pretty good luck with this one. There you go. There's the logo that's going to be placed down. Now, as you can tell, just by virtue of the paint falling onto the uh, tacky side of the vinyl, it's very tacky. So what you want to do is loosely lay it in the place where uh, we had marked earlier, which is right about there. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. Loosely, and then what you want to do, once you have your, is ply. A really good amount of pressure. Now what you want to do is just make sure, especially around these areas here, that it's, you can use a credit card. In this case, this is my VA card, but same difference. Make sure, apply a nice amount of pressure, especially around those edges. Now what you want to do is just take your standard household blow dryer, just heat that up, especially around these edges. When you heat up this vinyl, it grips to this extrusion, especially around all these little detailed edges here. Same kind of vinyl that you use on uh, vehicle wraps. Now what you want to do is you want to peel this back. You really want to take your time because uh, you want to make sure, here's a good example, if this crawls up on you like this, just take your razor blade and, uh, and cut that little piece loose there. Just want to peel that back, peel that off. And you don't want to lift up like this either. You want to just basically come straight back. And there's your image. Once that's done, what you want to do is just take your uh, dryer again. You'll start to see the top of the uh, vinyl. Get some of these indentations in there, and that's what you want. You really want it to grip. Okay, so I pretty much have our logo down. It's less than perfect, and that's kind of a good thing for the demonstration of this video to show you that um, you know, the more detail you have, the more likelihood you have of crawl up. Just keep that in mind. This is a very detailed logo, some fine areas of vinyl that have to be down. The next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and tape off the rest of your deck just to make sure you don't get any overspray. You want to be very judicious with this. Just want to take it off. You can use some tape. That's basically it, we're ready to spray. 
get your logo down. Basically, I didn't go through all the machinations of this demonstration of this video to do everything. But if you're on your boat, you want to do all four sides. Uh, we're going to start with black. It's a one coat process. Basically it like that. Uh, we'll go ahead and I'll do a fade. I kind of like my fade. I could have done this whole logo in black if I wanted to, but uh, why not do a fade? Black to red. Keep in mind the very first time that you do this, you're gonna come out looking like a pro. All right, be very generous. Now you can even come back in a little while, let that dry. You can even use your household dryer to let that dry and come back and do another application of vinyl coating. If you do a fade, you want to start out with your darker colors first and then move to your uh, lighter colors, black being the darkest. And red. Really want to get down those extrusions there. It's going to look really cool. And basically, Let's dry it off, see how it comes out. And then what you want to do is just make sure that it's dry, dries relatively fast. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now we get to see the finished product. Pull that off like that. Make sure that you get all your uh, vinyl off in the process, all these little details. And that's it. Came out looking awesome. And for those of you who want to see how this holds up, it doesn't scuff, it doesn't come off. Just as good as new. That's basically how you apply logos to Decadence Marine Flooring. Just a stencil, follow the instructions. It's a one coat application. Right now we're using the SEM vinyl coating. That's what we recommend. Any vinyl coating will work and uh, enjoy.